Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Lee Robertson and Mike Benyon Rowe. Madame Moiselle? Moiselle? I said. How oh, rude. Um, hello and welcome to Chewing the Cud. Just to let you know, our doors are wide open today, both the front ones and the back ones. We've got an open day here at the mill, so you may hear a little bit of, of, of amb ambient noise, like a 7307 landing, but that's just the lift. <laughs> that's the lift you've got very excited about. It is, yes. Yeah, and it's just, mm. it needs some WD-40. It does, yeah. What have, you, what have you got for us today, Mike? I've got an interesting story about, well, it's more of a factoid about a chocolate biscuit. A chocolate biscuit. Mm. And it's not the game. What's oh. <laughs> Yuck. Ugh. And that's before we go into our game of the week. Mm. And then we get all scientific in that science, that is. But on screen now, you can see our social media contact info. Just look for at the Cub TV. And as the names of people who have dropped us a line go on the bottom of the screen, we go over to Lee and the showbiz news. Bugger me, you're sorted. I am. <laughs> wow, that's a first. It is a first, no scrolling. Yeah. If I sang this theme to you, Tuba Baboyo, <laughs> if I sang this theme tune to you, uh -huh. Biker, 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 Goof, would you know? I mean, obviously, I've given it away by saying the name of the... Coronation Street? No, it's Biker Grove. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Do you know it's coming back? For right. a primetime TV reboot. Did you ever watch Biker Grove? I did. I watched one of the Ant and Dex get shot in the face. With a paintball. Yeah. He went blind. blind. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you get very excited about the homosexual storyline? And, and when he kissed the boy in well, the cinema? You pulled your pouch out. I didn't. I wasn't, I wasn't sexually aware at that point. 17 years ago? You were born sexually aware. Um, well, it's, it's coming back to the TV screens. It's, okay. It produces of Sunderland Till I Die. Mm -hmm. Never heard of that programme. And the Kardashians. Oh. That's a bit of an odd combination. Uh, Relaunching um, the it's show the as cast. Biker. N mm, not sure. So this is the original cast back in mm. the day. Um, Jeff. I remember Jeff. Jeff. He was the... He was the... The, 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 uh, the, the beardy thing. Yeah, of the... Like Amos. Of the... It was, a, it was a youth club, wasn't it? It was a youth club. It was yeah. a youth it's club. actually a real youth club. Is it existed. still there? I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway, so um, here are some of the kind of stars from back in the day. So obviously we've got Anton Deck. Mm -hmm. Donna Eyre, who went on to kind of do acting stuff okay. and a TV presenter. That, I don't think she went on to do acting, but she just had the name of Spuggy. Mm -hmm. Spuggy. And then Charlie Hannon from... Stole um, My Life. From, from uh, I didn't realise he was in Baku Grove. Yeah, bitch, Stole My Life. He stole your life. He stole my life. Because how did Charlie Hannon raise to fame? From Sex and the City, no. Um, Queer as folk. Queer as folk. Yeah, yeah. And he was the, he was the same age as me. Yeah. And he and that was supposed to be me. That was supposed okay. to be my life. All right. Instead of a fat goth. That was the lie alarm, alarm going off. There. <laughs> uh, you can hear. Yeah. So yeah, so that so, should I should have his body and and all okay. that sort of stuff. Like okay. He stole my life. Okay. The bitch. So Anna and Dak are going to be co-presenters. Okay. And Anne McParland has said we owe such so a Anne McFarland. Anne McParland. Oh, is it PH does an F sound. No, it's got, it's, there's no H in it. Right. I've been saying his name wrong for many yeah, years. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he's been saying that they owe a lot to Biker Grove like and, the, and the Northeast, so they can't wait to start working with the production company to bring the iconic series back. It's going to be more adult, not like as in oh, wow, 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 yeah, not as in wow, porn, wow. Oh, but as in more like for an, a, as a like a drama. Um, so we'll wait to see when that appears. Ooh. Yeah. Um, Bit of Britney Spears news. She went a little bit quiet, didn't she? She got emancipated, and then went a bit off the rails with her with the shots of a Rudy well, Doodies. Well, she went. I've got money. I can do my own life now, and so she mm. basically got to relive her teenage years. Yeah. Anyway, she it. she has has announced that her release date and book cover for her memoir that is coming this year. Oh. It's announced that it's going to be called The Woman in Me, The Woman in Me, and it's going to be released on the twenty fourth of October this year. Okay. Um, I always feel like her jeans never fit her. Well, she liked row riders, didn't she? Very naughty as that was. It is, but the, the gap at the back always it just makes me think, she, you get away in the wrong size jeans. Well, what she used to get really fed up of was people going up to her and sticking the two fingers, and then she'd go, ow. 
That's not a recent photograph. Really? But I suppose if you're going to do your own memoir, then you use whatever pick, you photograph you want. So, yeah, it is. It is the, people are saying that um, it, it, it's all aspects of her life since 2008. So she's talking about conservative shit. Uh, time all well. that kind yeah. of stuff. Um, the, it's, it's a Britney's compelling testimony in open court shook the world, changed laws, and showed her inspiring. Spr- insp- <laughs> Inspiring, something. inspiring spread legs. I nearly said that. Inspiring strength and bravery. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, they're saying it's going to be the publishing event of the year. Well, they don't say that about anything anyway. But people are going to really want to read. Re- 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 people are really going to want to read it. There was a lot okay. of W's in there. There was, one. yeah, yeah. Um, because some of them were intentional. They were yeah. to find out about everything that's gone on. Mm. Mm. Probably a little would, bit interested. Would, and I, w- I wonder if she'll she'll do the like because they do like an audio version. Up on tape. Yeah, I wonder if she'll do it herself. Or get if she'll do it. To do it. Guess <laughs> <laughs> Miriam Margulies. Oh, yes. Brian Ooh. Blessed, but if he's, if he's dead. I recorded it me one more time. The dirty bastards. Oh, that kind of vibe. What was that? That was Miriam Margulies. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, it's the importance of a woman telling her own story on her own terms at last. Woman in me. I could say woman in me, the book. Woman in Me, The Fragrance, Fragrance. Woman in Me, The Album. It's just a, yeah. Woman in Me, The Adult Toys. Yes. <laughs> Indeed. Um, you're, you're, you're partial to a penis, aren't you? A partial, yeah. You're yeah, partial just, to a penis. Just like a little snack. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. no, no, no. Um, parties, you know, they come round on those trays. Yeah. Wieners. Cocktail wieners. Oh, no, I was thinking of Olivons. Yes, I like cock too. Okay. Well, the penis facial is... Hollywood's most popular beauty trend. <laughs> I wonder so why. Most popular in my bedroom. I wonder why. So celebrities, they, they like an unusual beauty treatment. So we've got like Kim Kardashian who did that famous vampire facial where they kind of like took the blood out of her butt and then stuck it in her back in her face. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Victoria Beckham, she has the, per- the bird poo infused face cream. Nice. However... Mm-hmm. Kate Blanchett has, has has gone up with her favourite. Okay. The the um so Kate Blanchett 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 um, as is in what it, you do to peas you Blanchett Blanchett yeah, yeah is the is the penis facial yeah okay so that is not just she doesn't just lie down at the chair and suddenly puts a penis on her face and she goes oh, I feel much better thank you, <laughs> you give it a slap as well yes sort of wiggles it around a bit no so yeah, what happens get some tea <laughs> action in on it it actually does involve penises okay more specifically. The foreskins of newborn Korean babies. That is true. North or South Korean? I don't know. It doesn't give me that detail. I suppose it'd have to be South because North Korean wouldn't like that, would they? Like the penises, the foreskins out of the yeah. country. Okay. So in an interview with Vogue Australia, she said that her her friend and fellow actor Sandra Bullock introduced her to the penis facial. Right. Okay. Um, she said that I don't know what it is, or whether it just because it smells a bit like sperm. Which is a bit concerning because it's a, it's a newborn baby's foreskin. Um, well, there's, it just means it's that musty smell. She said there's some enzyme in it. The 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 so that so the first picture was a lady having the penis facial. Okay. And that's her afterwards. She's going hooray! It um, doesn't look very foreskinny. I mean, I don't think they just stick foreskins on your face. It's turned into a cream, a creme. Okay, how much does this cost? Oh, hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Right, tenner, I'll do it for you. I'll stick my foreskin on your face for a tenner. Are you a newborn? It has to be a new... It's not one that's been in many, many holes. It needs to be a fresh many, one. Many, many holes. Many, no, many. Not many, many. Many, uh, many mouths. <laughs> many places. It needs to be a fresh one. <laughs> Give it a rinse through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it's a cream, it's a creme. But it, so that I, what, what, long enough, you can have some I think what they do is they get the Dust foreskins, the put them in a blender. Ow. But no, but the, the baby's not with it. It's oh, been right, removed. Okay, yeah, right. That's an extreme circumcision. Well, they don't need them anymore because they circumcise them. But I'm just thinking about in a blender. I wonder why they don't use American foreskins because they foot they. So it's cheeseburger. <laughs> What is it about Korean foreskins? Korean baby foreskins? That's a word I didn't think I would be saying today. <laughs> sentence. What's the matter? It's what's an the difference sentence, between a surely. Korean baby's foreskin as opposed to an American baby's foreskin? 
I don't know. Anyway, they bl- blitz it all up in a blitz them all up in a in a in a blender. A uh-huh. uh, bit of oil of ule. Bit of olive oil. Oh, is it olive? Okay. Yeah, it's Probably ule, some it olive oil, and then <laughs> then, that... then slap it on <laughs> oh, the face. It's not making mayonnaise. Well, um, well, that's the only other way I can think about it. But she <laughs> she swears by it and makes a that's she's that's what she attributes to her. Um, Average looking. Hey, it shit. also makes her lips roll back really easily. Because they're the foreskin. Foreskin. They roll back. Ooh. Anyway, that's it for the showbiz news this week. I have no words other than why. Why have I not been told that I could be selling my foreskin for years? Because you're not a newborn Korean baby. I was once. Anyway, stick <laughs> around because after this, it's Mike and the Buzz. Watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now, before we go over to Mike and the Buzz, just to let you know, our back doors have been open wide all day because we've got an open day. Oh, hello. Oh, somebody's looking at us through the screen. Oh, wasn't prepared for that. <laughs> oh, hello. Um, so, things like that might happen, which is a bit disturbing. Um, well, she's a very lovely lady, but, uh, you know, whatever. Um, anyway, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> I believe you got freaked out by a camera that wasn't on you. No, I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting someone, not me to not be on me the screen. Not me to be on the screen. Yeah, it's me that's supposed to be on the screen. Who oh, is it? What's it? Just, just someone, somebody just... Someone peeking meand- through. Meandering, just parting the curtains. Yeah, having a peek having through. having a little look through. through our green screen area. Yeah. Um, so, when you think back to your childhood, mm-hmm. many, many moons ago, many moons ago, um, did you have a piggy bank? I did have a piggy bank. What shape was it in? Of a, of a pig. Is it a pig? See, I, I had a house one. <laughs> I had um, I had a womble. It shows you how long ago my childhood was. <laughs> it was plastic, and um, the it, the Which womble was it? It um, was it Orinoco? No, it was Madame oh. Chalet. Because <laughs> I was a gay child. Yeah. Well, what were you going to say? Um, a... you put you put there's a slot in the back of a head. Uh huh. When it was full. And the rubber bung was removed from her butt plug, from her bottom feet. Mm-hmm. And then you would take your your, your gold sovereigns out, <laughs> <laughs> your thrifty bits and yes. stuff. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Um, well, I had a house one made of plastic. I got it when, when I opened. Well, when I had a savings account opened for me. But then Halifax did the pigs, didn't they? Or was that Nat West? That was Nat West that did the pigs. Oh. I had a Halifax house when I had a savings that account opened dull. for me. It was dull. It was just a very brightly coloured house. Okay. Right? But you can have your your. I'm going to say piggy bank fetishes dealt with um, from a lady in Arizona mm. who started creating piggy banks out of taxidermy pigs. I don't like the sound of that. What? An actual pig? I don't like it. Remove the bacon. And all the other that is horrific. And that's, yeah. That I is... didn't say it was good taxidermy. I said a taxidermy pig. That is nightmare inducing. <laughs> yeah. But you could keep your coin in there. Where do you put the coin? In the pig. Where in the pig? a hole in the back of the neck. And then where do you get the money out of? Where do you think? Is it through its arsehole? <laughs> no, through its stomach and the bomb. Oh, dear. It wants it to be the arsehole, didn't it? It's horrible. Where does she find dead pigs? Apart from in your well, house. she doesn't find dead ones. She kills them. She gets the pig. Takes out all the bacon and goodness. No, 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 no. And then stuffs and... No. Yes. Is it not a dead pig first? What, she doesn't no, kill she... them on purpose. What? <laughs> Are they just, do they die in their sleep? They die in their sleep, don't no, they? No, no, no. Oh, they die in their sleep, Mike. No, they're made into sausages and bacon and things. And no, those, and those ones die in their those sleep. Ones. Mike! They die in their sleep after they a do. very happy they childhood. Do. They die in their sleep in a butcher shop. Oh, my and God. Made into bacon you don't eat pigs that young. You do. No, you don't. You can't. Why are, you, why are you saying these things? Because it's true. It's not. That's a very little pig. That's it a piglet. Was a little pig. I don't like this story. Let's move on. <laughs> so, yeah, you're not a fan of the... the... I think it's hideous. <laughs> I, I genuinely think it's hideous. I think it's a hideous idea. I think taxidermy in general is hideous. Don't you want to be stuffed when you die? Yeah, but I'm dead. So that's hideous still. So that's fine. But uh, don't go and... So all we need to do is put a slot in the back of your neck. 
<laughs> and a hole in one. I've just only got a spare decade to fill it up. <laughs> oh, is he still is he full yet? Nope. Um, <laughs> um, I just don't like it. You don't like it. I don't like it. No. Is, there, is there a picture of the hole? The bung? You want to see the pig's arsehole, don't you? I do. Yeah. No. No, there isn't. I'm not showing you a picture of the pig's arsehole. I think it's horrible. That's just weird. That, oh, that's just weird. That. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah, okay, do you want me to move on? Yes, please. Okay. Um, I have another story about... A story. Oh, babies, hello. That's a pig. Come in to be stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> that's okay. Um, so, weddings. Yeah. Yeah. What makes you think, you know, that would be a good wedding? Oh, hello. Hello. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Get the sawdust. <laughs> Taxi Demi. Weddings. 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 Mm. Um, when you're at a wedding, what, what, what do you look for in a wedding to make you go, that was a good wedding? Nothing. I don't go to a wedding. I don't enjoy them. Oh. I find them very formal. What about the, the drinking and the punch-up afterwards? I, 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 that might be a wedding that you associate with. my family. No. Too, I no. Um, I, I, um, a lovely dress. Lovely dress. That's your. That was a good wedding. Yeah, nice and a dress. pony. And a pony. Yes. Okay. Well, we might be ticking, pony on a dress. You might. We might be dressing a pony. We might be ticking some boxes here. Oh, okay. Okay. As people are going, well, they're losing their minds. To be fair, right? Okay. Over a new trend of having a llama dressed as a groom at your wedding. Do you marry it? No. It's just it's a, a llama dressed as a groom. That's disturbing as well. <laughs> Why is that disturbing? It's good dress. Because where's the rest of it? Behind, it's just a good angle. Okay. So the rest of the llama is behind. They've not like, they're not like removed its hind <laughs> legs and its no. like high oh, backside. No, it's a live llama, right? And they've dre they've dressed it so it looks like it's a person. Why though? Because it's fun. It's a talking point at a wedding. I don't understand people. You don't understand people. I don't. I don't understand it. Uh, what is the point of it? Well, it's, it's to give you a talking point at your wedding, so you've got some interest. Is that is that what you need Literally. to have for your wedding? Not the, the fact that you're getting married to somebody you love. Let's get a llama in. That'll create a bit of chat. It does Especially create a bit of chat. We're doing it right now. in people's faces. Do you do? I do. £80 an hour for a llama. Look at the face on it. It's not happy. It's not happy, no. At all. <laughs> well, that one is happy, though. <laughs> oh. Hi. This one's fine. Hello. <laughs> do you like llamas? Um, right, okay. Right, £80 an hour. Nice. To have a llama at your wedding dressed as a groom. And then what happens? F*** <laughs> it. <laughs> Do you know what? There was genuine <laughs> anger behind that then. <laughs> what is angry f*** llama? <laughs> That's how angry that got me. <laughs> What's the point in having it if you can't f*** it? <laughs> Yeah, there's a choice there, Lee. There was, yeah, and I made it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, congratulations to you. <laughs> yes. Um, and um, if, like Lee, you want to angry f*** a llama, show it to us at the Good TV on social media. And that brings us slightly to our story of the week. This will probably make you angry too, but I oh. hope you don't try and f*** it. Um, I'll try my best. You'll try, you can't make promises. Can't, can't promise. When you think of names of things. Yes. Yeah. Um, if you ever had to think up of a name or something? <laughs> like an activity. Ooh! Like Crafty Queens was your idea. Do you know what? Somebody, somebody mm -hmm. was talking to me yesterday about being at school, playing football, and they somehow wanged... I'm going to have to find it. They wanged the football. They called it something. Mega Wang, or... Um, <laughs> <laughs> That's my grinder name. <laughs> um, let me find it, because I, I was like, oh, okay. Um... And, and I was like, where's... And it's from Wigan, and I think it's only a word that is used in Wigan. Wang is a word that they use in Wigan. So, yeah, well, not me, mm -hmm. but a friend who comes from Wigan, uh -huh. tells you a lot, was talking about being at school and playing football, and he pallywanged football. Kicked it really hard. I was like, what is that? So it means kicking the football. Pallywanged. Yeah, really hard. Mm. Yeah. So, so, apart, so we've not had to name anything, really, was my question to you. Before we went off on a tangent. When I've had a big... I've had a big... Can I say it? Lovely though. I've had a big turd. What do you name a big turd? Just whatever, Nick, because I'm going to miss it so much. Give it a name, was it? Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, 
Bye, Barbara. Bye, Barbara. massive shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is just about, um, a, 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 I wouldn't say famous, confectionery. Okay. Okay, and I've got one for you. Is it when they turned Marathon into something else? Into Snickers. Yeah. No, it's not. We've still got durian fruit in there. Oh, oh wait, wait. God, that's evil. Yeah. What are these lovely little things? Twix. Yeah. So, the name Twix, mm -hmm. what do you think that stands for? Twin. Twin chocolatey fingers. Quite close. Twin twin biscuits. Twin biscuits. Twin biscuits. Twix. Twix six. That's what, no, no, not Twix six. Twin biscuits. Okay. So that's how they came up with it. There was a thing about them saying, oh, it's a, you can eat it if you want. It's in no, date. it's fine. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm not going to throw real to eat when you're filming. Is, is there a purpose behind this story? Yeah, it's going to be Twix. Yeah. Is that it? So there's a lot of controversy because someone came out and went, oh no, I've worked out what the name is. It's Twin bis Chocolate Biscuits. And then I went, no, it's not. And it's been a closely guarded secret for years of what it actually stood for. And it's actually the inventor of it that came out and went, he's basically said, it don't work for me anymore. I'm going to tell you what it is. Okay. Better be good, Mike, because I'm going to flip the table. I gave you it's chocolate. It's just like... It's Twin Biscuit. Don't sure what it is. Is that all it is? I'm flipping it. <laughs> no, you're not, because that's heavy. <laughs> it is. I, I went, <laughs> went, I'm not my wrist <laughs> uh, oh my I'm God. flipping this. Um, <laughs> oh. We gave you a chocolate biscuit. Is that biscuit. it? Is that the story? We literally gave you a chocolate biscuit. I know, but everybody knows that that's what it means. Nobody knew what they thought it did. Well, it's not rocket science. No, it's not it's rocket science. It's two biscuits. Twin biscuits. Not two biscuits, twin biscuits. Oh. Bring the llama back. Pig. <laughs> <laughs> You're in a Twix. That's all from the bus this week. Thank you, Mike. I need to go to anger management classes. <laughs> or at least I do. not threaten to f a lava with a Twix. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not knock it till you've tried it. Anyway, <laughs> stick around because coming up, we have our game of the week. You're watching Chewing the Cud. Just to let you know, our back doors are very uh, gaping wide this uh, today in the studio, and we've got visitors just coming to have a look. So you may hear the screeching of my soul as it's tortured, or anyway. This week we are playing Gobby Game Show, aren't we? Yes, we are indeed. Um, and this is one for our very own drag king in disguise. It's Mike. So off you, off you trundle. Yeah, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Game of the week. So Mike is going to attempt to um, parlay. Um, is it music? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I've got to guess it. He's got a ball gag in his mouth. <laughs> if um um uh, if God was one of us what? by um Joan Armour Trading, it's not Joan Armour Trading. <laughs> um, I don't know who it's by, but I know it's What if God was one of us? Okay, half of it. But I don't know who it is. Okay, half of it. One point. Mm, half of it. Mm -hmm. I, I don't care who it's by now, I've got oh, the name of the song right. No, so. you're all for him, you're for him. Right, next one. Next one. We look like fun for me. We look a lot more like fun for me. I don't know. I'm going to have fun for me. I'm going to have fun for me. I'm going to have fun for me. Oh, it is. Fun for me. It is. Ta da, ta da. Um, by Kylie Minogue. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Oh. Yay! Ugh. Mm. <sighs> uh. Next one. Next one. Uh -huh. Oh, pensive. Pensive ball gag. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no,
I was just, I was just kind of just thinking to myself how deeply unattractive that is. Um, I'm going to go with um, um, Alanis Morissette and ironic. Mm. Oh, ten thousand spoons and all you need is a fork, knife. Yeah, it's a knife, not a fork. Like meeting the man of your dreams, and then a little, little, little fork. <laughs> I don't know what I was. I'm fingered by his beautiful wife. Hit the fire, hit the fire, hit the fire, and 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 hit the no idea, but I'm just quite happy that that is being projected on a screen outside the studio and people watching it. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Uh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> hi. I don't, I haven't a clue, Mike. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, by Galantis. By who? Galantis. Galantis? Yeah. Galantis. Oh, I thought that was by RuPaul. Oh, right, right, right. Right. When you put me on the dance floor, I just feel I could be like that. My friend would be like that. Because I'm a whore. Is it something I'm a whore? I'm a whore. I'm yours. I don't know. Oh, it's Little Mix uh -huh. with um, Fist Me on the Dance Floor. Love Song. Dirty Love Song. It's nine to five by Dolly Parton. Yeah. Not a plea for help, which really looks like. Have you? Are you? Have you is this another one? Oh, are you started another one? Okay. Oh, it's helped by the Beatles. Help what? A little cry for help. Okay. That's on the head. That's on the head. That's on the head. That's on the head. That is, um, that is, um, former isn't a mill residence, the Ting Tings. With, um, Call my name. Well, it's not my name. Well, it's not my name. That's not my name. Mary Jolisa. The Dooba Doo Boo. That one, yes. <laughs> yeah. Well done. We don't have to audio describe everything I do. What? The, what? what? <laughs> <laughs> don't have to what everything you do. Audio <laughs> describe. <laughs> No. B. C. 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 D. E. 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 F. F. U. Yes. G. Oh, U. A, B, C, D, F, U. What's that? That's song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, F, U. No, not G. A, B, C, D, E, F, U. Okay. 
I don't know. Oh, is it? I don't know what the song is though. No. Hmm. A pole vault. Eh? A pole vault. A pole vault. Oh. A pole vault. Hold them. Hold them. Hold on. You see, when I use Hold the on. um the 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 kazoo, uh -huh. at least I can like communicate after I've done the thing. Yeah. Whereas when you've got that ball gag in your mouth, I, I'm just I'm I just I just can't differentiate anything. Okay. What is it? Hold on. Hold on. Like Aretha Franklin. By like Aretha Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, I don't even know what that song was anyway. <sighs> okay. Oh, great. <laughs> I think that's enough. I don't think we need to guess what that is. No, no, I'm, I'm making the executive decision that I don't want to know it. Don't want to know, nor do I care. And that's the end of it. Rebecca oh yeah, Black Friday. It was what? Rebecca Black Friday. Still don't know it. Well, I'm coming uh, for it. Yeah, that's that's time. So, um, join us after the break, and it's Mike and that science that is. Hello, welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Just to let you know, our back doors have been open for a long time today because we've been accepting guests through our back doors. So if you hear any noises or chuckling, you won't hear any chuckling. But if you hear any noises, that's what it is. Anyway, it's time to go over to Mike and that science that is. That science that is. So we've done a lot of things about food in the past and you like those ones compared to the ones that are non-food. Yes, I did enjoy the ice cream. Yeah. I did enjoy the butter. Yeah, and, and the slush where you made salty slush. Yeah, yeah. not for that one. Salty yeah. slush, wasn't yeah. overly keen on that. Well, that's because you used the wrong... Because I did it the, wrong. You did the wrong thing. Um, mm. Well, today we're going to use more crystals, which is sugar crystals. Sugar melon. Have you ever no. wondered how they make flavoured sugars? Flavoured sugars? No. No. Well, you're going to learn today. Am I? Yes. Oh. Um, it's quite a, quite a simple process. Okay, and I know you can do simple processes. I can indeed. Yeah. So in front of you, um, you should have some sugar. 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 Um, and some coloured water. Oh, my water's not coloured. Oh, well, you need to put your colouring in there. It's just flavoured at the yours then. Do I put the colouring in now? Just a, a couple of drops of the colouring. So you've got blue. Because the flavouring that's in the water is raspberry. Oh. So yeah, we're all about the artificial colouring. That's it. That's all you need. Just a little. Just a little tip. Yeah, just do a I, tip. Do I stir it? Give it a stir so it's all nice and mixed up. Okay, lovely. Okay, so I'm going to slowly put some of your sugar. Slowly put some of my sugar into, into the, the... Into your, your flavoured liquid. And, tiny little bit. And stir bits. it. Yeah, but keep stirring it as you do. And then stir it. No, no, stirring it as you do. As I do not, it. Not stop and start. Okay. Continue going and stirring. So like in a constant stream. Like a constant, yeah, like that. Like you're adding eggs to cake mix. Okay, until you get to your saturation point. And your saturation point is literally when no more sugar dissolves. You should get there quite quickly. Until no, so till, till the sugar is white, still white? At the bottom, yeah. So it won't take a lot because your water's already been partly sugared. So there we go. So I, I've hit saturation point now because no more will dissolve in. Have is you? that is that saturation point? That that's past it. Yeah. 
It's past saturation. It's past point. it, so because if you you look at your, your fluid, yeah. you're starting to get layers. Yeah. Yeah, you should just have a little bit at the bottom. You've got a little bit at the bottom. But you've got layers as well, so you've gone past it. But anyway, um, so now all that happened is you'd lay this on a, on a, a sheet, right? Mm -hmm. And let it dry itself, so evaporate, and the water would uh, evaporate off, and it would leave behind the flavours, the colours, and the sugar. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, and then if you added uh, some acid to it, you'd get some sherbet. Hydrochloric? Not hydrochloric, asorbic. Asorbic? Yeah, uh, acid. Um, so that's what's in your other cup. So if you have a look in your other cup. Yes. Yeah, you've got some sherbet. Oh, yeah. cherry flavour. You've got cherry, cherry. flavour because you asked for cherry flavour. I did, yeah. My favourite flavour. Mm. Um, and I've got orange. So you got, you got nice. Are you having a dip of your sherbet? Oh, do I have to? Okay. Yeah. Tiny fingers won't reach. What I really need is a long fingernail. <laughs> um, oh, that's no, good it's, stuff, that. It's actually sherbet, like, sorry. Mm, 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 no, mind mm, ketamine. Mm, um, nice. Anyway, so that's how they make flavoured sherbets and flavoured sugars. Now, flavoured sugars can be used for a wide variety of things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, they could be used for, yeah, I don't know, making hard boiled sweets. Yes. Or they could be made for making sherbet. Yes. Or they could be used to make candy floss. Oh. How do you feel about candy floss? Um. I, I, I don't have a strong feeling either way. It's, like, it's nice. Would you like to make some? Oh, indeed, yeah. Okay. So, down to your left, there's a little contraption. Oh, there is. A little red contraption, yeah. I want you to lift that up and pop that on your table. Is it all in one piece? It is all in one piece. Okay. Oh, I'll go. Oh. So, as soon as it starts spinning, don't touch it. No, I'm not touching it, Mike. It is spinning and I'm not touching it. Okay. Now, down to your other side, you should have some little white packets of sugar. Where? Down by your leg. Left hand side. Under I have table. some balls. Not those. Not those. Under the table. A little white packet. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. And you should also have a spoon. Oh, I do. Okay. Now you want half a spoon of that sugar to go into the middle of the spinning contraption. I've got half a spoon. There you go. Okay. And yeah. now pop that into the middle of the, sp the spinny thing on the, the candy floss machine. The thing that's, that's, yep. that's brass that's spinning around. Yeah. I'm frightened. Just don't touch it, it'll be fine. <laughs> right, now get your stick. Okay, and the flat end. You'll yeah. start to see candy floss appearing at the side. You yeah. want to collect it with the stick. But don't waft the stick directly over the top of the central bit. It's floating at the top. You'll start to see it floating, and that tells you that candy floss is starting to be made. And then how do I collect it? Just waft the stick over it and it'll stick to it. But don't do that. Don't, well, you said waft it. Yeah, don't pass your stick directly over the heaty thing, but go around like that, yeah. But going around. It takes a moment. And what's happening there is as the sugar's melting, the centrifugal force is forcing it out through the sides. And as it's done at it speed, it's creating little strands of sugar. So it's actually a long thing. Oh, it's process. building up now, Mike. It's building up. It was like cobwebs. It is, yeah. Ooh. So you have to go quite quickly with it at this point. What happens if you put your Johnson in it? You'll burn your Johnson off. <laughs> Gary asking if have I know that. And trust me, it? I know. Um, so you're making candy floss? I am! You could be a, a carny. I could, couldn't I? Yeah. I don't know why we're doing that voice. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I could be some, uh, some sponge sugar, young man. It's doing it! You're being, you're being quite aggressive, but if you, you look now, has it, has it stopped producing candy floss? Um, no, it's weird. It's, no, it's doing it. It kind of floats in the air. It does, and that's because of more centrifugal force is causing air, which causes milk draft. It's hot air, so that's why it goes up. Do you use this often at your house? I, I have been known to use it on occasion. When you're pissed? No, no. No, never. never. No. Don't hot, use hot spinning. Don't sugar. use yes if you're what, drunk. No. You're inebriated. No. I think it might. Uh, can I put more granules in? Um, I, th I think that'd be enough for no, now. I don't want to. No, I think you just just turn it off for now. Turn it off now. Yeah, that, that's enough because you you gubbed it. Oh, burning smell. That was nice. Yeah. 
So there you go, you've made candy floss. <laughs> now what It looks like there? a butt plug. <laughs> well. <laughs> a burning hot butt plug. Wait, it's not hot now. It is, it's got steam coming off it. That'll be, that'll be coming from the centre of the... the oh, from floss. the so, yeah, centrifugal. Yeah, yeah. But the candy floss now will be ready to eat. Shall I eat some? You eat it, yeah. I mean, it is shit, isn't it? It is not good. It's, it's the whole, it's the whole. It's spun sugar. Yeah, it's the, it's the. I, I can't speak. It's the, um, the thing that doing it, getting it, is the more exciting it's thing. It's the excitement of getting candy mm. floss completely. Yeah, and it's that whole childhood memory it evokes, sort of like that. That's how you're a kid and getting high on candy floss and just shoving it in your face. Yeah, because it doesn't actually taste of anything. Well, that one does have a blue raspberry taste. It's just very, very weak. Hmm. But yeah. Um, but as I said, you know, we've got sponge sugar then, boiled sugar. You can make you make it into little shapes and make little round spheres. So you should have some sweets there. I do. But you can eat candy floss later. Mm-hmm. Okay. And these are also blue raspberry. Okay. Um, so chomp on while I, I, I discuss them. Um, Chomp on one while you discuss it. Yeah, so I'll, I'll talk about what they are. So yeah, blue raspberry. Is reason. it really sour? No. Um, oh! <laughs> I hate you <laughs> because I knew <laughs> I'm gonna spit in your. I'm spitting in your your thing. That is horrible. <laughs> I knew it. Never accept any food that he offers never, you. Never take it's sweets taste from strangers. You should know. That was vile. That's the world's what, sourest sweet. That's horrible. <laughs> you mean boy. I don't know where it's went. I've, I've gobbed it out and it's gone somewhere. <laughs> that's the sound of the police coming to take you away. <laughs> well, that's science, that is. That's science, that is. <laughs> Enjoy yourself there. That? Mm -hmm. Looks like, you know, like you a, like a spider like. cocoon. Spider cocoon. You know, like for the jumping spiders that live in the garage, the huntsmen. Okay, huntsmen don't jump or create cocoons. You're talking about that's a lot like an egg sac. Just saying. You're showing me your, your sweet egg sac. I am my sweet sweet egg sac. Yeah. So why did you spit this sweet? Because it's vile. It tastes like death. You eat one, Mike. I, I'm going to try one because I think you're just being a, a, a wimp. And I'm not falling for it because you're gonna because that is me going you you uh, you know what you're trying to do is play with my mind and say that I'm gonna go oh well that must be that was the horrible one that was on top and then that's the normal one yes is, is, is it making you feel sick Mike oh so they are the world's flower sweet oh right it's just you taste buds I didn't put it in the top front of my mouth where the sour taste is I put it on the side but you can't taste it that's what you do with a lot of things isn't it. Dick mainly, yeah. <laughs> but that's the end of the show for this week. Don't forget, you can still find us at The Good TV on social media. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.